in this tutorial, we will create a new vertical grid layout and show products in the storefront of the e-commerce application. As you can see in this preview, below the categories section there is a two-column grid with all helmets. Each product has its own unique background color with a photo, a title and a price. By finishing this lesson, our touchdown app will look more like a real e-commerce app. Alright, without further ado, let's launch Xcode and start coding. Title Component Before we start developing the individual product item, we need to create a reusable title component. Select the Home Group folder and let's create a new Swift UI file. Give it the name Title View and save it into this group. After that, let's add the following modifiers to the preview. Enter. Title view. Preview layout. Size that fits. Background. Color background. Great start. Now we will modify the placeholder text. Text. Helmet. Font. Large title. Font weight. Heavy. The style of the title is OK, but we need to make it flexible so we can align it always on the left side inside its outer container. That's why we need to embed the text into a new horizontal container. H stack. New comment, end of, H stack. Padding. Horizontal. Padding. Top. 15. Padding, bottom, 10. Now let's add a new spacer into this container and make this component flexible horizontally. Spacer. Alright, the layout is done. Now it's time to create a property for the content of this title. Enter the following code. Var, title, string. After that, we need to add this property with some sample content in the preview. Title view. Title. Helmet. The last thing to do is to replace the static content with this property in the body. So let's do it right now. Text. Title. And there it goes. The finished title component. Now let's implement it into the storefront, shall we? Open the content view file and add a new header title between the category grid view and the footer view. Enter. Title view. Title. Helmets. Perfect. Nothing can stop us from continuing the product grid. Product data model. To do that first, we need to create a new data model for all products. Open the product JSON file and take a brief look at its content. As you can see, the object has six key value pairs inside each instance. A product ID, a product name, a product image, a price, a description, and finally, an array for the RGB color. As many times before, we will add a new editor to Xcode's window on the right. Then make the first pane active before we create a dedicated file for the data model. Now select the model group and create a new Swift file. Give it the name Product Model and save it. It's time to map the keys of the product JSON file. First, let's create a new struct for the data model. Enter the following code Struct Product Codable, identifiable. Then add these new constants to it. Let id int let name string let image string let price int let description string let Color, array of double, 
that's okay so far. However, we will need to make some modifications to use it more efficiently later on. More to come about it soon. Products constant. Now we need to create a new constant for the products. Open the constant file and add this code after the categories. Let products array of product equals bundle dot main dot decode product json super i am sure you can appreciate how easy it was to decode a local json file with our extension product item select the home group and let's create a new swift ui file for the individual product item give it the name product item view and save it after then, let's add these new modifiers to the preview. Product item view. Preview layout. Fixed. Width. 200. Height. 300. Padding. Background. Color background. Splendid. We can create a new property for the product and use it in the layout. Enter. Let product product. Of course, we need to tell the preview what data to work with and show us on the canvas. Let's modify it as well. Product item view product products index zero. There is no mystery. This code will show us only the first product from the JSON file. It's time to create the actual design and layout for this component. First, we are replacing the placeholder text with a new vertical container. Enter. V stack. Alignment. Leading. Spacing. 6. Content. New comment. Photo. New comment. Name. New comment. Price. New comment. End of. V stack. Now, we will start working on the product's photo. Shall we? Z stack. Image. Product dot image. Resizable. Scaled to fit. Padding. 10. New comment end of Z stack. Background. Color. Red. Product dot color. Zero index. Green. Product dot color. First index. Blue. Product dot color. Second index. Corner radius. 12. As you can see, we detached the background color from the product photo itself. The reason behind that, we want to animate only the picture without the background. Now let's continue with the product name. Enter. Text. Product dot name. Font, title free. Font weight, black. After that, add the price as well. Text, dollar sign, backslash, product dot price. Font weight, semi bold. Foreground color, gray. Easy peasy. Making good looking app prototypes with Swift UI isn't that hard at all. That's what we all can agree with, in my opinion. The layout and the design is already done, however, we can improve the code here and there. You know, I found it quite cumbersome to enter each RGB value of the background color. The second thing that we can change for the better is the price of the product. We can improve all these areas by modifying the data model. That said, jump back to the product model file and let's add some new computed properties to it. Enter. Var. Red. Double. Return. Color. Zero. Var. Green. Double. Return. Color. 1. Var. Blue. Double. Return. 
color to var formatted price string return dollar sign backslash price as you can see these new computed properties simplify things to see them in action we need to change the component and add them to it jump back to the background color in the product item view file and replace the old values with the new computed ones as i show you red product dot red green product dot green blue product dot blue after that let's modify the price as well enter text product dot formatted price our code is much better now just a side note if you are a beginner developer over time you will gain such experience in app development that you will later predict how you can improve your code beforehand with that you won't need to spend precious time to refactor your code okay enough with the talk let's finish up this lesson by creating a new grid for all products on the home screen shall we products first we need to open the content view file and add a new lazy vertical grid after the title enter the following code lazy v grid columns grid layout spacing 15 content after that we will add a new for each loop while we are replacing the placeholder views for each products product in product item view product product new comment end of loop new comment end of grid finally let's add a padding to the grid layout padding 15 and guess what our goal for this lesson is already accomplished we just need to start the live preview and see how this new vertical grid component works in action play with it a little bit by scrolling down and up as you can see the home screen is full of all football helmets isn't that impressive how effortless was to create this feature I think that we are all blessed by working with the Swift UI framework. With it, app development is a more delightful activity. By the way, in the next lesson, we will have more fun while we are developing a new section for the sport equipment brands. With it, the home view will be well rounded and fully developed in all aspects. That's being said, see you at the class.